Apologies if you hear explosions in the background. It's Guy Fawkes Day. Oh, it's not even Guy Fawkes Day. That's in the fifth. It's in four days. I don't know why it's happening. Right. So with the Halloween events now reached its conclusion, we can finally go over the updates finally. So I may have made a mistake when it comes to explaining how to get the towers because apparently you don't even need to beat night one to beat night three it's not like the other knights or the axe where you need to beat all the acts in order before you could unlock the next one no you could actually go straight to night three and get the badge uh, but that's not how the tower uh, tower rewards are being handed out no you need to get night one night two and night three in the respective easy or hard modes to get the tower that's why some people haven't got the tower it's because you've only beaten night three or maybe even night two but you're missing a night you haven't beat night one you need to beat all the knights on easy mode or hard mode. You also can't do a combination of them. You can't do, say, beat night one easy mode, beat night two hard mode, and then beat night three easy mode to get the, the Hello Punk tower. No, you need to beat them all on easy mode to get the Hello Punk tower, or all of them to get to get the Harvester tower. Oh, also, you don't need to beat them in order, just saying. So therefore, that means you can go 2, 3, 1, 1, 3, 2, 2, 4, 10. Yeah, all those, not, all those combinations, those work. But yeah, those are the two new towers, the Harvester and the Hello Punk. I already made a review of those. Go check it out. You have to complete all the knights on hard mode and then all the knights on easy mode for these two towers, which you, you'll see them in night three anyways, because actually, when I said there was going to be a sixth tower slot, the developers actually added a sixth tower slot. Uh, the problem is you can't actually, you can actually now change the keybind for the sixth tower slot, even though it's only usable on at or oh, sorry night three really good and yes it's not an ability it's an actual tower slot i was right many people didn't realize including myself was the fact that the range buff for the farm from three to five actually made sense because farm actually has a weird symbiosis well it's not a weird symbiosis it's a, it's a pretty good symbiosis with the harvester where if you use the harvester ability and there's a farm in range of it next to the path, then it will create some additional thorns next to it while you use the thorns ability to deal extra damage. For the first time in this game, there's been symbiosis between two towers, which is not the same as the synergy between, say, the commander and the all the other towers that can fire. No, this is symbiosis between two towers. Because each tower can work independently on its own just as good, but they are better together. Uh, next, they fixed the bumper car visual effects again. Uh, they They've updated the scary coffin visual effects and they fixed the Mako DJ booth uh, max level particles. I don't know what that means. I think I've used it once, but I think they're just floating. Uh, the quests, meanwhile, they are actually limited time quests, limited time mission quests, which is the first time that this has happened for the mission quests, at least. 11th of... Isn't that... Ju oh, wait, I forgot. Americans. <coughs> Stupid Americans. Yeah, that. So you have... Hold on, let me do mental maths because I can't actually translate American dates. You have five days, probably four days when this video is being released, to complete the uh, limited time mission quests to get the exclusive skins, which is the Waste and Harvester skin and, I believe, Wednesday the 30th, the Jason Slasher skin. So after this time you are not able to get these skins and that's why they're permanent here in the mission quests for they're in the first and second slots they override anything that appears here because you have a limited time to actually get all of these uh skins or you have the limited time to mi complete these mission quests i don't know if you need to buy the quest before that or you need to actually complete the entire quest before the sixth but you have a limited amount of time to do it uh coming up is apparently pvp game mode okay so yes in the, in the lobby there is a pvp area that you may know of over here, uh, which is coming soon, apparently. Uh, they say coming soon. We don't know when. It might not be this week. It might not be this week. Uh, the Pursuit rework we knew was coming after the Halloween event, so it's good. And the Commander rework, which is also pretty good. Uh, credits, da 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 uh, shout, shout out these people for making the, the event. Then we have the changes tower changes again uh so the oh geez fireworks the mercenary base has had its uh lifespans for its units fixed i believe this is for all levels uh apart from the uh airdrop where it still remains halved so well it's halved but it was the original amount here so 75 it lasts for 75 seconds 90 seconds 120 seconds 180 seconds those are for the uh airdropped tower uh, units but for the regular units they're 150 180 240 and 240. meanwhile for the golden crook boss the there was an issue where the crooks had less lifespan compared to the golden counterparts halved or nearly halved uh, this has now been fixed, so the pistol, cr uh, the pistol crook, uh, has 
150 seconds of lifespan instead of 100. The Tommy Crook has 200 instead of 100, and so does the upgraded Tommy Crook. There was a there was also a glitch where the Ranger didn't display, or sorry, the Ranger was actually nerfed from 3.25 seconds to 3.5 seconds for its fire rate, uh, like uh, two weeks ago. No, a week ago, sorry. And the developers, when they re reversed the change, they forgot to do the level three change. So. At level 3, the DPS of the Ranger was nerfed by 7, which isn't a lot when you consider the fact that the Ranger has 91 DPS normally, and it's only decreased down to like 84, but it still pissed some people off for some reason. This has now changed, so yeah, no more complaints. Uh, the Ace Pilot, meanwhile, uh, it now shows at level 4 the upgrade statistic where it actually gets, it gives hidden detection to all towers permanently in that range until it's sold. Uh, this was confusion uh back when we did night three because we didn't realize this because i totally forgot i think i might have covered it but i forgot that the ace pilot's hidden detection was permanent now but that's good i think oh and yes there's a new name tag and new charm which you get by beating the hexscaped event from night one night two and night three in order in hard mode using the continue button otherwise you don't get it you don't get the titus charm which is only this it's the first non-default charm that you can get technically without using a code because all of these require codes this one doesn't. In many ways, the Titus Charm is a bit like the default uh, charm in the sense that once you place it down, it looks like a default charm, but also it takes uh, of your chat colour. So for example, my chat colour is red. This is randomly assigned to you, uh, I believe, through some hex codes or whatever. And mine is red. And as you can see, the charm is also red. And yes, you can hear when you place it down. I must say, I'm unimpressed. It has a voice line. Uh, the other I must say, I'm on charms don't have a voice line. The first one. So hopefully we'll get more unique charms in the future. And we get a charm store. Meanwhile, the Jester Tower has returned to stores where you can actually buy it for 799 Robux. So basically 800 Robux. I do believe it will be on sale for a limited time. So who knows how long that will be. Maybe a week. Maybe longer. I think it'll probably be a week. <laughs> Compared to when it used to, uh, what it used to cost back in the Lunar Overture event, it used to cost 750 Robux, now it only costs 800 Robux. So it's barely an increase, but you can see towers getting more and more expensive over time. This doesn't appear in the Game Pass store, by the way. It only appears on the homepage, so, and the Slasher Tower is the one that appears instead, but you can't actually buy it. It's gone off sale in this update. Do not try and buy the Slasher. This one's got the old icon, but you know. Below Natural also says you'll even get a chance to test the Jester Tower in night three of the event. I believe that's in easy mode where one of the Lunets has the Jester Tower. I mean, it's a weird way of saying to test the tower because you don't keep it permanently, but that's a similar to the Hallow Punk and the Harvester Towers, I guess. Uh, and that's it, I think. Uh, yeah, all these towers, they're from... They're the new towers. And that's it in terms of the official update log. There's probably more in the shadow updates. In fact, I know there is. Menton has messaged me a hundred times detailing all the uh, hidden changes. Uh, so, uh, I Menton. Yes, I'll cover them later.